someone is patiently waiting for scritches this morning. He's like, give me scritches, mama. I'm being patient. Why aren't you giving me scritches? Scritches, please. Pretty please. Hello, and welcome to the Rummaging Ferret. This is a bit unexpected. Um, so this just arrived. This is not what I was expecting today. I heard a truck like from behind my house? And I've had theft at this house before. People have been breaking into my garage. So I thought, oh no. And I'm like, oh well, you know, it's probably delivery trucks. I'm expecting um, some hard drives to come in. For those of you that don't know, um, my laptop is completely kaput. I've been having a problem with my desktop where it just randomly cuts out and will just completely shut down on its own and just go Poof. I took my um, desktop apart and I've been... Uh, I cleaned all of it and got all the dust out of it um, and hopefully it may have just been overheating um, but I don't know so I've ordered a cheap portable hard drive to switch everything over onto in case my hard drive does go and then I've got a replacement hard drive for the event of my hard drive going dead because I need that desktop to work for my business and everything um, and just so I have contact with say my work and stuff I need to be able to check those emails and everything which I can pull up on my phone but it's a lot easier to do on my desktop. I ordered this and it wasn't supposed to get here for like another 14 days um, and I ordered this maybe less than a week ago um, from Home Shopping Network. They were having a one-day deal, and it was supposed to be the Cricut Maker and all the tools, and they had it cheaper. It was the entire package. Um, there was a bunch of other stuff, tools. Mainly I wanted the tools and the cutting mats, and I think it came with some other extra, like... I don't think it was paper, because I thought that was useless. I think it was, like, markers or something. Um, but some other various goods. I don't see that here. So, I don't know if they're going to be sending me another package or what, because this... This says additional shields for purchase, so I don't think these are in here. Um, and then this says what's included in the box. So, I think that we just have this stuff in here, and I guess they'll be sending another package that has the extras in it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is... This is not what I was expecting today, but this is what's here. So, I decided to grab my camera and unbox it and we'll see what's in here. I do have to go to work soon so I don't know how long this will go on for but hopefully we manage to take everything out. I'm not gonna hook it up today that'll have to be a different day because like I said I've got to go to work. I did order the lavender one I think. Pretty sure I ordered the lavender one. So this is the box. Like I just took it out of the box it got shipped in. This is kind of what it looks like. This thing is heavy. Like super, super heavy. Ugh. Which is good because if I ever go back to architecture, I wanted this to be able to cut some of the um, modeling wood and stuff that we use for architecture. So like basswood and chipboard and all that. So that's why I got the Maker instead of just the Cricut Air Explorer or whatever. Because I do want to make stickers for my business, but in the event that I go back to architecture, I want this to be able to cut my chipboard for me so I don't have to spend a lot of time cutting chipboard and I can just throw it onto the computer and be done with it. Oh, this looks like it's got stuff in it. Oh, there's the tools! Okay, so it's not coming in a separate box. These are the extra tools. This, I don't believe, actually comes with every Cricut. I think this is just the um, 
home shopping channel one deal that I got. So they must have put these in here, or maybe they bought a bunch of them with it already in there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, these are the tools I was wanting. Uh, and it's just basic tools, but it's got like scrapers and stuff and some tweezers um, that I thought might be uh, helpful. So there's that. What else is in here? Let's get started. How do I? Oh, okay. It's like looking through the viewfinder is a little hard to see how to open things. Materials for your first project. Okay, so this is like an envelope. Open me first. Here's the little cutting tool. It's like a rotary blade, I think. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's better. Okay. Open me first. It's a welcome book. And it looks to be some stuff under this because you can see the paper sticking out of the hole. Yeah, cords and stuff in there too. So, okay. So let's we'll look at that a little later. We'll just set that off to the side for right now. Let's see. Okay, well there's markers, which I don't really care about, but and like I said, I got this from Home Shopping Network for cheaper than a regular maker costs. Um, and it came with, the main thing I wanted was all the mats that came with it. Oh, look at that. There's more markers. I don't care about the markers so much. Um, although they might be good for the business if I need to, like, scrawl or something. I don't know. Well, the main thing I wanted was the cutting tools and the mats. And this came, I think, with every mat. Yeah, I think these mats are extra. So you got a standard grip mat. And then you got a light grip mat. And then you got these strong, another strong grip mat. I think one of these is like for fabric, if I remember right. Maybe I'm wrong. But there's two strong grip... No, there's a standard, a light, and a strong. Oh, wow, it comes with four. Okay, no, five. Five mats. Okay, so this comes with five mats. I'm going to assume that based on the packaging of these, because there's just like an acetate over it, that these are what usually comes with a Cricut Maker. These were the extra ones, I think. So this is another... Light grip mat. So I've got two light grip mats. Um, a strong grip mat. And a fabric grip mat. Okay. So I've got... I got standard, two lights, a strong, and a fabric. So that's all these. And this is... This and the tools were kind of the main thing that I wanted. Alright, so this is... Wow, it's shrink-wrapped. You see that? It's shrink-wrapped. Okay. Wow, okay. Well, that'll protect it till I get ready to set it up. Um, but it's got like a little cup, and then here's like a tray that pops out, and then this, I think, lifts up, if I remember right. Um, there's the plug-in ports guess that's it. Oh, there's a USB on the corner here. That's kind of nice. That's got a little USB unless that goes to something. Alright, so I'm just going to wrap this back up for right now. Um, and I might come back later and figure out... Oh, there's more cords. Okay, and there's another cord in there, I think. Make sure to put all the stuff out. Nope. Okay, that's 
that's it. <laughs> All right. So when I go to set this up, I'll pull this out. Um, but that I think is the power cord for this. So I'm gonna. Okay, so this is just paper. Oh, because this is for your first project. So you're going to, it'll, I guess, take you through a tutorial. Oh, wow, that's got a real nice texture to it. So I guess it'll take you through a tutorial for your first project so you can actually learn how to set it up. So that's materials for your first project. Here's the rotary cutting blade. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> I was kind of expecting a CD with, like, software. I think for, like, the Cricker, Cricket, Cricker? The Cricut Make It Maker, um, I thought had like software or something. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Um, but a lot of things now have like digital websites and stuff, so maybe that's what it does. And I think that's how they operate theirs. Um, I know Silhouette, you have to buy the software, I think, or they give you a free starter package, and then for anything extra. You have to pay. They're not sending an extra box. All the stuff that was extra was actually in this box. Um, just kind of tucked in around it. Like all the markers and stuff. Because um, this is what's supposed to come with your Cricut Maker. All the tools and stuff. Like what you see in this picture here. These are the extra bits that I got. Um, but it shows you kind of like custom projects. Um, how to design stuff. A library of stuff. Images. Fonts. Printable stuff. So this is the sort of thing... Yeah, architectural models, right there. That's that's the reason I got the maker over... See, look, it even call, cuts balsa wood. Um, most architecture, um, you use basswood, um, because balsa, it might be lighter, but you can see the striations in it, and it'll give you um, a problem with scaling, because you'll see the grain in it, and your brain will automatically jump to thinking that it's, um, an object rather than a building, you know, uh, in your head. That's how it'll read. So typically we don't use balsa wood for architecture models, we use basswood, but, um, and chipboard. So the maker will actually be able to cut basswood, I've heard, um, among other things. So we're going to, uh, test that someday, but there's a rotary blade, a knife blade, I'll have to buy a knife blade, um, or it comes with a knife blade, does it come with a knife blade? Knife blade's already in there. Oh, it does, it does come with a fine point blade and housing, okay, alright, it must be in the cricket already. Um, these are additional, additional tools that I have, except for the big one. I don't have the big scraper, I just have the little scraper. I don't have the brayer, but I do have these, like the spatula and the weeder. Um, and I don't have a trimmer. Quick reference for how to put things in, how to lay things out. All right, so that's that. Now what is in here? 
Oh, okay. Okay, so this is for housing this little guy. Although, I mean, this little packaging is pretty, pretty good. Um, there's a fine tip pen. Uh, 0.4 black pen. And these are to hook it up to my computer. Okay, and this is just the warranty and stuff. Okay. If if and when I go back to architecture, um, I'll be able to build models a lot faster. Because that was always my biggest problem is I worked so much, even when I was in architecture school, that I just I didn't have the time to really commit to being all into the architecture, I guess. I mean, I was, I was doing well, and it just kind of depends on your time management skills, and I was doing pretty good. Um, but, I don't know, if you get sick or something, it really puts you out of problem. Like, if you have any kind of, any kind of health condition at all, or if you have kids, or if you have a job, Architecture is almost impossible. Um, if you, especially if you have really bad um, medical conditions, uh, heart problems, if you have to get guaranteed sleep every night, if you have to um, take care of a child, uh, if you have to cook nightly, that's, you know, for you or somebody else, this is really like architecture is not a good fit for you, um, at least for the school that I went to. Maybe some other schools are better um, and a little bit less problematic, but my school's, the school I went to never gave you enough time to do everything. Um, some professors were a lot better than others. There were several professors I absolutely excelled with, um, and that's also because I have time management skills. You know, I have to with work and everything. Didn't a lot of students when you're in architecture school will use their time to gossip and chat, but most of them don't have jobs. I have to sit in class every day and work my butt off doing whatever it is that I have to do without distraction, which is kind of the opposite point of being in studio. In studio, you're supposed to bounce ideas off of other people. You're supposed to chat. You're supposed to see what other people are doing. You know, it's supposed to be a communal space, and I just, I can't do that because I have to sit down, and I have to focus, and I have to work, and a lot of people did not understand that about me. Um, and didn't get that. I have a few friends that did, that really, truly understood the kind of time management I had to set aside for things, because I didn't have all day to work on this stuff. Um, so this, if I ever go back to doing architecture and go back to school and finish my degree, because I only had, um, class-wise, it was less than three years, um, I, but I have to take them in a sequence in order. Um, so it would be three years, but it wouldn't be a full close course load. This would help me cut chipboard so I don't have to do it. And I could be working on something else while this cuts my chipboard or while this cuts my acetate or while this cuts, you know, my basswood, whatever. This will cut it for me so I can focus on other things, like maybe I'm doing a 3D model, you know, or something else. And then I just have to glue. I don't have to waste all my time cutting because this will do it for me. The Cricut Air Explore 2 and any other... This is the strongest one. This, I think, is the only one that will cut basswood through Home Shopping Network. I got this, the entire set with all the other mats, with all the other stuff, um, all the other tools. I don't really care about the markers, but all the other tools and stuff and all the mats. This was cheaper than just buying it off the shelf at Michael's, even with a coupon. And it was a one-day sale that Home Shopping Network had. And so I grabbed it, um, and this was everything, the entire package was way cheaper than 
than buying it separate or even just the price of one maker. So that was the only reason I got it because I'd been looking at these for a long time and I had been wanting to get one, thinking about getting one because it would be a good investment for the business. Uh, so it would allow me to do more than just art prints um, and be able to put my art on something like, say, stickers and I can start out small and work up. Um, my inventory to put my artwork on other things, but this gives me another vehicle to put my art out there. So I'm actually having printer issues um, right now. Um, I've tried to clean it, fix it, and tried to get it um, better shape. I still can't get it to work. I'm getting blue streaks in it. So I did order um, new cartridges are on their way um, in case, because that was the other thing was it I changed my cartridges. It shouldn't be the toner or anything. It should be fine. Um, so I'm going to clean my printer heads again today um, and try to get that cleaned and let it soak. Because I think last time I only did it for an hour and then I did it again for a little bit of time um, to try to break up anything that was in there. But like my, my nozzle check is fine. I test printed um, sheets. I tried realigning it. I think everything you could possibly do to it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use um, the kit that I got to clean the nozzle heads again. But like my nozzle check comes out clean, so I don't get it. Um, I tried rescanning the image, thinking maybe it was the image. Um, some of my other stuff will print just fine. Other stuff won't. Um, it seems like the more saturated colors it's got issues with. It started with one of my images. The painting that I finished that I actually posted up on Instagram was done. But yeah, I can't put it on Etsy because I can't print my stuff right now. So it's coming out all streaky. So I'm kind of worried that somebody's going to order a print and I'm not going to be able to print it. So I'm hoping I don't get any printer orders for now until I can get that fixed. So I don't know what I'm going to do if, cause I don't have enough money to buy another printer, you know, um, I got bills to pay and stuff like that before I can even look at buying another printer. And if I can't get it fixed, I might try to take it down to, um, there's a tech shop nearby that I might try to see if they can fix it. But I tried realigning it. I've tried everything and I still can't get this thing to print right. So I've got this one. And it looks great until you look at the moon, and then you realize that there are these neon blue streaks. And this is just regular printer paper. So usually I print on a better quality paper than this, but I tried, just in case it was the paper. Because um, sometimes if you're using, like, a, one setting for um, your computer, and you're printing out on a different paper setting or something, it sometimes will streak and do all that, because it... It's putting in a lot of ink for something that's this thin, you know what I mean? So I've tried, because I originally printed out on my standard paper, which is my matte premium paper um, that I use for the business for orders that I ship. So I use a really, two different ones, I use a gloss paper and a matte paper, and they're both super thick, they're almost like cardstock, they're so thick. I've tried different papers, I've tried cleaning the nozzles, I've tried everything, but yeah, so this is the original one I tried to print, and I'm like, well, maybe it's just how saturated the colors are that it's not doing right, you know? So, I printed out one of the D&D &D maps, and it came out looking pretty fine, and so I thought, well, maybe it was just the image, I tried rescanning things, and um, so then I'm like, well, let me try a different one that I have that I need to make sure I can print before I put it up on my shop. About a year ago, um, last July, my cousin had his wedding, so I made him a wedding gift, um, and this is kind of the, one of the ones that I had when I first started my business, but I never put it up. Um, it was one of the first social media posts I did, and one of the first ones I put up onto my Facebook, um, for my business, um, but it's just got, if you look, you can see, like, every inch is those neon blue lines. So I'm like, well, this sucks. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't sell this quality. This needs to be, you know, I need to, and it was printing so nice before. Like, you could not tell it was a print and not the actual painting. So I'm 
trying to fix it, so I'm going to try to clean out the nozzles again. Anyways, I'm going to go start work on stuff and eat, because I got home from work and I opened up the package and I haven't eaten yet, so. See you soon. Let me see if I can find my ferrets. My ferrets up there. Caracol! He might come. Hang on. Caracol! Where are you, bud? I hear you. Oh, he's down there. You see him? Where's my finger? Where's my finger? It's down here. Hey, buddy. Caracol. Show a little face. Show a little face in there. Say hi, hi. Yeah. Yeah. Shoving a camera on your face. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully I'll get the printer fixed. I'm really backlit. There we go. So I'll try to fix things and I'll get back to you guys later. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed me and my ferrets, it's free to subscribe. And remember, there's magic in art.